Hi, this is Paul Frields, and as you know, I love UVI Falcon. It's probably the most powerful software synthesizer available, but it can be a little tricky to understand at first. There are quite a few tutorials on YouTube for learning how to use various features of Falcon, and some of them walk through every control, but I haven't seen one that explains the patch architecture in Falcon. What I mean by patch architecture is the various levels at which you can create and group sounds, modulations, and effects to create an entire patch. If you know how this architecture works, you can make a better plan for designing the sounds you want. Let's imagine you start Falcon with a blank init patch. At this point, the first thing that you do is to create a mapping where you connect a range of notes on the keyboard to an oscillator with an envelope generator. Of course, you aren't limited to one oscillator. You can add multiple oscillators to a range of notes, sharing the same envelope generator, effects, and modulations. And this represents a key group. You can make as many of these key groups as you want, each with its own envelope generator, a set of oscillators, effects, and modulations. And you can then group these key groups into a layer. Similarly, you can make as many layers as you want. And of course, each layer has its own set of key groups and each of these key groups has its own set of oscillators. The layer can have its own set of effects, modulations, and events on top of that collection. When you collect these various layers, they form a program. And again, that program can have its own set of effects, modulations, and events processors. And that program, is basically a simple Falcon patch. But believe it or not, Falcon adds another layer of architecture on top of this. The program, as I mentioned, is a basic Falcon patch that you load into a part. But Falcon lets you build a collection of parts, each with their own program, into what's called a multi. A multi features its own mixer, where you can also apply complex routing and effects similar to operating a physical mixing console with inserts for effects as well as auxiliary buses. With the right controller setup, you can use a multi for an entire live performance set. The key to understanding Falcon's patch architecture is in the tree view. By clicking on the tree view, you can access each part loaded in a multi and see the entire architecture of the program loaded into that part with every layer, every key group, and all the various levels of event processors, effects, and modulations. When you click on a particular level of the architecture, the edit screen will switch to the entire collection of that level. For instance, if you click on a program, all the layers in that program, as well as all the key groups in all those layers, are selected. Notice the multiple selection label in the layers level. This allows you to make global changes, such as gain or pan, to all of them at once. Similarly, if you click on a layer, all the key groups in that layer are selected, including all their oscillators, effects, and so on. You can select a specific key group to manipulate all the oscillators in that key group at once. And of course, you can drill down to a specific oscillator to work with just that oscillator. If you're making anything beyond the simplest patch, the tree view will help you make the changes you want in only the places you want it. I typically use the tree view by default when creating or editing because it gives me visibility and fast access for all the levels of my patch for designing the sound I want. I hope this helps you understand Falcon a little better so you can advance your own synth and sound design skills. This is Paul Frields and I've been showing you how to understand UVI Falcon patch architecture. Now, take what you've learned and don't wait, create.